you can tell what bag somebody holds by what they shell. It's really that easy. <clears throat> so, so what was what was FTX worried about? FTX worried about uh, De- DeFi killing centralized finance. Binance is worried about DeFi killing centralized finance. Unless they can get their fucking hooks in the DeFi, lock it up, and then oh, DeFi is great, right? So, so what they did was <clears throat> they did a vampire attack against Uniswap by t- duct taping on a shit coin to liquidity farming, which was sushi, and then they all listed it on their exchanges rather instantly and farmed it themselves, right, to to earn yield, and that was their hope of getting their corporate hooks into DeFi. In order to like, okay, well, if our centralized play loses volume due to DeFi's, uh, you know, You'll censorship make up, resistance, make up for it there, right? Then, the, then their fucking yeah. their other plays will will work, right? And so, like Sam is still doing that stuff from a different format, and and I I think you know some of the things I think a lot of what he says does make sense, but just because the shit you say makes sense doesn't mean you don't have an angle. Right, and people that own centralized exchanges aren't happy to lose all their money to DeFi. They're not, and I'm in love with it. Like I am a cypherpunk, and I want the power to the people. And fuck these middlemen, and fuck selfies, and fuck the hacks, and like fuck all that. Like crypto can solve that, and solving that is a bigger deal than Bitcoin itself. But people don't realize it. More yeah, people, I, good. It's but, DeFi no, I, and removing exchanges is a bigger deal than what Bitcoin was built to address. Because where do pe- most people lose their money in these exchanges, and how do most people really use cryptocurrencies? Bitcoin is just a sh- is just the utility token for margin trading. That's all it is. The vast majority of Bitcoin transfers is people gambling on the price. So this is the only real use case crypto has is speculation, and the biggest pain point that people have in speculation are these centralized fucking entities. So solving that problem is a huge, giant, giant, giant fucking deal. Uniswap makes more money in fees per day than Bitcoin does. Period. Mm. It's really that easy. Yeah. People care. Well, they really care about these things. And the, the thing, yeah, it, 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 it's upsetting, Richard. You know, just to see, like, uh, I think over the last uh, year or so, we've seen. I, I think the catalyst for it for me personally was when I was watching the the Samson Mao interview with uh, Vitalik. For Peter McCormack, and I, I know obviously you and Peter had your uh, your interesting conversation. They've all got me blocked. Even... Magically, Peter doesn't yeah. have me blocked, but Samson's got me blocked. <laughs> like every like if I when I browse Twitter, it's I've either blocked them or they have blocked me, and it's mostly I have to I have to private window control shift N to fucking actually read Twitter. <laughs> like yeah, man, there's so I'll much blocking it. going on. You know, honestly, I've listened to some of Peter's stuff. I didn't like how. How he acted in your guys' interview and stuff, but I digress. That's like I guess a topic for another time. <laughs> but the one thing that, that that interview he did, I think he did a, a relatively decent job in that case. You know, bringing on Vitalik. Like I thought that, that I thought that Peter actually did an okay job there, and I yeah. didn't like him, but he did an okay job in that interview, in my opinion. Yeah, the, the the takeaway though, dude, that I, I just honestly 